Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today we will learn chapter 14, Thermodynamic. So in this video, we will continue to discuss on chapter 14.3, Thermodynamic Work. Questions number 3. A vessel contains an ideal gas of the pressure 150 kPa. When the gas is heated, it expands at constant pressure until the temperature increases by 100 Kelvin. Okay, so here case 1. Okay, meaning that uh, initial pressure is 150 kilopascal and it expanded at constant pressure. Okay, meaning that constant pressure is isobaric or there's no changing of the pressure. Okay, so P2 still 150 Kelvin and until the temperature increased by 100 Kelvin. So T2 is equal to T1 plus 100 Kelvin. The amount of heat absorbed, okay, absorbed meaning is positive, by the gas is 4.36 kJ. Okay, so at that moment, Q is equal to positive 4.36 kJ. However, if the gas at the initial condition is heated at the constant volume, okay, so this is case 2. Okay, if let's say our pressure initially 150 kPa is heated at a constant volume, meaning it's isovolumetric. Okay, so at that time, the temperature also will increase by 100 Kelvin. Okay, so our volume 2 will equal to volume 1. Okay, and the uh, um, pressure 2, we don't know. Okay. Temperature we know because temperature also increases uh, similar like just now increased by uh, 100 Kelvin uh, compared with the initial temperature. Okay, and at that moment the heat that we absorb, okay, absorb is 3.11. Okay, it's positive 3.11 kilojoule. Okay, number one, find the work done by the gas when it expands at constant pressure okay so at constant pressure we want to find the work done okay so usually when you want to find constant pressure we can use p times the change of the volume okay however here we don't have any information for the volume so we cannot find eh? okay so what should we do is actually we can use the first law of thermodynamic where Q is equal to change of the internal energy plus work done. Okay, so this work done is work done for isobaric. Okay, so this is the value that we want to find. Okay, and the second part is also Q equals to delta U plus work done. Okay, so since the second case is isovolumetric, meaning that there's no changing of volume, therefore work done also equals zero. Finally, our change of the internal energy is equal to heat or is actually equal to positive 3.11 kJ. Okay, and for case 1, okay, for case 1, our internal energy also will equal to Q minus work done for isobaric. Okay, so Q is the heat energy they absorb. So, it's equal to 4.36 kJ minus our work done for isobaric. Okay, so since the questions mentioned just now, the question mentioned just now, the temperature for case 1 is increasing, is increased by 100 Kelvin. And for second case also, the temperature increased by 100 Kelvin. Okay, so since change of the temperature is 100 Kelvin, therefore the change of the internal energy for case 1 will equal to change of the internal energy for case 2. Okay, because both of them are increased by 100 Kelvin. Okay, so therefore we can say equation 1 actually equals to equation 2. Okay, so we can substitute the internal energy from equation 2 into equation 1. Okay, where equation 1 is 4.36 times 10 to the power of 3 minus work done for isobaric 
And equation 2 is isovolumetric yeah, where our internal energy is equal to 3.11 exponent and positive 3 joule. Okay, so finally, work done that we will get is equal to 4.36 minus 3.11. So we will get 1.25 exponent 3 joule. Okay, so this is the work done for isobaric. Okay, because work done, there's no work done for isovolumetric. Okay, B, the change in the volume of the gas when the gas is heated at a constant pressure and the temperature rises by 100 Kelvin. So again, constant pressure meaning that is isobaric. Okay, so we can go back to just now case one where isobaric. Okay, when isobaric, our work done that we get is actually equal to 1.25. Okay, so work done for isobaric is actually equal to P constant times the change of the volume. Okay, so we substitute 1.25 times 10 to the power of 3. And the pressure initially is at 150 kilo so i substitute 150 kilo times the change of the volume okay so finally the change of the volume that we will get is equals to 8.33 exponent negative 3 meter cube questions number four a vessel contains an ideal gas in the conditions a as shown in figure, when the condition of the gas changes from A to B, the gas system undergoes a heat transfer of 10.5 kJ. Okay, so when from A to process B, okay, the heat transfer is equal to 10.5 kJ. Okay, and uh, when the gas is condition B, changes to condition C, there is a heat transfer of 3.2 joule okay so from b to c our heat transfer is equal to 3.2 kilo joule okay number one calculate the work done in the process of a b c okay so meaning that now we want to find the process a to b b to c okay but we need to do it separately because uh, a to b b to c work done is different okay for A to B, is actually pressure is constant, so it's actually isobaric. So work done for isobaric is equal to P times V final minus V initial. Okay, where our P is equal to 150 kilo and the volume is from 2 to 4. Okay, so we take final, so it's 4 minus 2 times negative 2 meter cube okay so the first volume that we will get for a to b is equals to 3000 joule okay however for b to c b to c is actually iso volumetric since this is iso volumetric there is no change of the volume therefore work done for b to c is actually equal to zero okay so work done b to c is zero work done from a to b is equal to three thousand okay so now we want to find work done a b c yeah? meaning that we want to find the total work done from a to b plus the work done from b to c okay so work done a to b is three thousand for isobaric and work done from B to C is actually zero so therefore the total work done for the process ABC is equal to 3000 joule okay next one the change in the internal energy of the gas in the process ABC okay so again uh, from A to B okay A to B isobaric Work done, we already obtained 3000. And the question already mentioned Q is equal to 10.5, 10.5 eh? kilojoule. So we can use the
first law of thermodynamic where Q is equal to the change of the internal energy plus work done. So we substitute 10.5 kilo joule equals to change of the internal energy plus work done for A to B. Eh? So therefore, the internal energy from A to B, we will get 7,500 joule. Okay, whereas for process B to C, Q equals to change of the internal energy plus work done. Our Q is 3.2. Okay, it's given 3.2. So we write 3.2 kilo equals to change of the internal energy plus zero because there's no work done for ISO volumetric. So therefore, our internal energy is equal to 3,200 joule. Okay, so next we go to B. Yeah? Here we want to find the total process A, B, C. Okay, so internal energy from A, B, C is equal to internal energy A to B plus the changes of the internal energy from B to C. Okay, so just now we get A to B is 7,500 and from B to C is 3,200. Okay, so I substitute into the equation 7,500 plus 3,200. Therefore, we will get 10700 joule, 10700 joule, or we can write as 1.07 exponent positive 4 joule. Okay, so this is the internal energy of the gas in the process of A, B, C. Okay, next we want to find the work done on the process of A, B, C. Okay, so similar A to D. Okay, A to D is actually ISO volume metric. Okay, because V is constant. Okay, so A to D, since it's a ISO volume metric, there's a no changing of the volume. Therefore, the plan also equals zero. Okay, however, for D to C, D to C is ISO bearing, and the pressure now is three hundred. Pressure times V final minus V initial. Okay, so pressure from D to C is 300 kilo, and V final is actually 4 because it's from 2 to 4. So we take 4 minus 2 times uh, exponent negative 2. Okay, therefore the work done from D to C. Uh, equals to 6,000 joule. Okay, so we go back to just now for C. We want to find the work done A, D, C. So we need to split here. Okay, work done A to D plus work done D to C. Okay, so work done A to D because it's ISO volumetric. So work done is equal to zero. Whereas for work done D, 6,000. Okay, so we substitute into the equation 0 plus 6,000. And the final answer we put done in the process of A, B, C is equal to 6,000. Okay, last part. Find the total amount of heat transfer in the process of A, B, C. Okay, so we want to find what is the value for Q. Okay, so if you look back here, uh, since just now, A, internal energy from A to B to C is actually equal to the change of internal energy A to B to C. Okay, because the initial is A and the final point is C. Okay, but they are moving in different parts. Now we want to find the total amount of heat transfer. Okay, so we can write. Energy A D C is equal to internal energy A B C. Okay, so we can substitute A D C from just now questions for B. Okay, uh, one point 
zero seven exponent positive four. So we substitute one point zero seven exponent positive four joule, and the work done ADC is six thousand. Okay, so I substitute six thousand. Therefore, the final answer for the total amount of heat transfer is equal to one point six seven exponent positive four joule. Okay, so that's all for this chapter. Bye.